Welcome. So how do you how do you find the magnitude of a vector? Well, let's kind of take a look at two different vectors. Um, one that is not in standard form. And let's do one, two, three, one. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So here there's a vector, four, three, and negative three, one. And we'll call it our initial point P and our initial and our terminal point Q, right? Um, and then we'll do another vector, and this vector is going to be in component form, which we like a lot. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 6, 4. And the reason, again, it's in component form is because uh, we have this one in component form because, remember, the initial point starts at 0, and then it ends at a terminal point, which we're going to call, uh, what I say, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So negative 6, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now remember, we represent vectors uh, with the directed parentheses, or it's pointed parentheses. All right, so when we're looking into finding the magnitude, um, to find the magnitude of a vector, remember the magnitude is going to be the length, right? The distance of this vector. So going back to your algebra 1 or geometry, to find the length or the, uh, the length or the distance of a line segment, we needed to apply the distance formula, which roots back all the way going back to the Pythagorean theorem and finding the different distance. So the first thing we want to do is find the difference between our coordinate points, right? Which is going to give us the length of this triangle. And then we need to find the difference of our y coordinates, which is going to give us the length of that side of the triangle. So again, we have to go back to the distance formula. And if you remember the traditional distance formula between two points, distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus the difference of y2 minus y1 squared. All right, but we're going to use a little bit different, but that's how you find the difference between two points. And that's pretty much exactly what we're doing, but we have a little bit different notation for this. For this, we're going to call this pq. And to represent magnitude for a vector, we use our, these double lines. So this represents the exact same thing as this, but it's represented for a vector, not a line segment. However, the definition is going to be exactly the same. We need to find the difference between 4 and negative 3. So what I do is, um, so anyways, it's just going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So in this case, if I wanted to find the magnitude of this vector, I take the square root. x2 is 4 minus negative 3 squared. And then here I have 3 minus 1 squared. So to help you out to solve this problem here, 4 minus a negative 3 is going to be 4 plus 3, which is 7. 7 squared is 49. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is going to be 4. Add those up, and I get the square root of 53. So pretty much what we're saying is this length, 4 minus negative 3 is 7, so they're saying 7. And we're saying this length is 2. Um, is two. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, so that's 1. 1, 2, 3. Oh, I wrote that wrong. It should look like that, not at 4. So that length is 2, that length is 7. And obviously, once you know 7 and 2, which is the difference here, 7 and 2, then you apply the Pythagorean theorem to find your hypotenuse, right? Um, so therefore, the magnitude in this case is going to be the square root of 53. Now, we like transferring vectors or having vectors in component form because even though the process is going to be exactly the same, Remember, these two coordinates represent v1 and v2. So an easier way to represent, or a nicer way to represent the magnitude is rather than having to do with an initial point and a terminal point, v and q, if I just have a vector that's in component form, I can take the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. Because remember, this distance is you know, pretty much right here. That's v1 and that's v2. So, all I need to do here is look at what's my v1 and my v2. Well, v1 is negative 6, and v2 is 4. So therefore, I just take the square root of negative 6 squared plus 4 squared. That equals the square root of 36 plus 16, which equals the square root of 52. And then a lot of times, we always can see, um, you know, as far as simplifying uh, that magnitude, and so you can say, you know, how many four, how many times does four go into there, which would be 4, 11, 12, 13. 
So you could do 2 square root of 13. So that would be the magnitude for this vector, which would be that length. And the magnitude for this vector would be the square root of 52. There you go. That's how you find uh, the magnitude of vectors. Thanks. Make sense? So. Cool? Kind of.